How do you compute fuel used using the E6B? Again, we have a handy legend down here at the bottom. You can read this as set gallons per hour, read fuel used over minutes. This is useful when completing the nav log after you've completed the amount of minutes that it takes to get between waypoints. So it takes 9.2 minutes to get between the first waypoint and the second, and we need to compute the amount of fuel that has been used. This fuel is going to be identified in gallons per hour. We're going to get the gallons per hour out of our POH from the plane. The line will read something like this in the performance section of the POH. At a certain altitude, at a certain power setting, you'll get your true airspeed, which hopefully we already used and wrote down on our nav log, and it will give us a certain gallons per hour figure at that airspeed and that altitude. So in this case, we're going to be using 7.2 gallons per hour, and we're going to compute how much fuel was used in these amount of minutes, and we're going to place them in these boxes. So this can be done during math, using math, and it might be easier to do that just to start as you're starting to use the E6B so that you can guarantee that your answers are correct. So let's do the first one the long way. So if it takes us 9.2 minutes, and we know that we burned 7.2 gallons per hour, the first thing we need to do is we need to get our minutes into hours. So we're going to take 9.2 minutes and we're going to divide it by 60, because there's 60 minutes in an hour, to get our units in hours. And then we're going to multiply that by our gallons per hour. So 9.2 divided by 60 is 0.153. So we have 0.153 hours. And we need to know how much fuel will burn at 7 gallons per hour. So 0.153 times 7.2 gives us 1.1 gallons. Okay, so our first unit, our first answer should be 1.1 gallons. Let's do that using the E6B. So again, on the E6B, using our legend, read it this way. Set gallons per hour. Whenever you see the arrow, say the word set. And then whenever you see this section, something over something else, say read fuel used over minutes. So set gallons per hour, read fuel used over minutes. So the first thing we're going to do is set gallons per hour. Our gallons per hour is 7.2. So we're going to use the arrow, and we're going to set that to 7.2. Now we don't have a 7 on here, but it's okay to use a 70 because we're off by a factor of 10. But that's the way the E6B works, and it, the math will come out correctly. So we have it set at 7.2, and now our chart cell tells us to read fuel used over minutes. So by that it means on the outer scale, we will read fuel used. On the inner scale, we will read minutes. So what do we have? We have minutes. So minutes is on the inner scale. So we need to find 9.2 on the inner scale. Again, we don't have a 9.2, but we do have a 9.0. The decimal can be inferred. And we can find the 0.2 by counting two ticks up from our 9.0. So at 9.2, then on the top scale, we have an 11, the fuel used. We have to think about if this is reasonable or not. 11, 11 gallons used in 9.2 minutes. This does not make sense. We're not going to burn 11 gallons. We burn 7 gallons in an hour. We're not going to burn 11 gallons in 9.2 minutes. So we move the decimal point until it makes sense. In this case, not 11, but 1.1, which is the answer that we got using math. 1.1 gallons. So we'll fill in our box. 1.1. All right, the advantage of using the E6B becomes apparent now, because now we have a new time. We have 14.9 minutes. However, our gallons per hour has not changed. It's still 7.2. So our E6B is already all set up where we need it. Our pointer is still at 7.2. So we've set gallons per hour. Now all we need to do is read fuel used over minutes. What do we have? We have minutes. So we're going to find 14.9 on the inner scale. And in this case, we do have a 14, so the units are already correct, and we can find the 0.9 by going one notch right here below the 15, and we're going to read at the top scale. If this is reading something like 17.8, how much, 
However, does 17.8 make sense? Would we burn 17 gallons in 14.9 minutes? No, we burn 7.2 an hour, so that can't be correct. So we're off by a factor of 10. So at 14.9 instead of 17.9, we've burned 1.79 or 1.8 gallons. Now for our last one, we have one more minute value, 10.4. So again, we're reading fuel used over minutes, minutes on the inner scale, and we need 10.4. So 10.4 can be represented here by the 10, and then counting four ticks up will land us right here, and we can read on the top 12.5. Again, 12.5 is not a reasonable answer. However, if we move the decimal point one to the left, 1.25 is, and we'll round that to 1.3.